Welcome everybody, I'm Jake and we are here at Austin's house on his comfy couch. It is super comfy. Yeah. Austin's Which house. camera am I addressing right We're now? We're going to be talking to this main one. Right here? And then he'll be switching back and forth. So if I'm ever addressing camera when Talk we're to like intro, one. we're talking. Okay. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. If you don't know who Austin is and you've never heard of YouTube, um, Austin, I guess, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. <laughs> I've been working with a group for about four years now called Aura Brush, and we've made a name for ourselves by selling, of all things, a tongue cleaner on YouTube, uh, but that's how we sell it. We sell it just with YouTube video. That's, that's not only our staple, it's like a primary section of our sales funnel, and we optimize like crazy in there so that we can use these videos to persuade people to pick up a tongue cleaner for themselves, and recently we launched a tongue cleaner for dogs. So we're using YouTube for that as well. And I've learned a lot just about marketing and especially marketing with YouTube video. Yeah. So also got a great kind of case study and success story with, with using video and YouTube. And I think I first met him speaking at a local conference and then we were able to work together at Startup Weekend, which was super fun. He's got a great mind, super smart, knows what's up and uh, pretty handsome too, by the way. Oh, stop. That's why he's getting married in a little bit. Says the man with these stylish clothes. Yeah. From that sounds sarcastic. It's not meant to be. I really like you. Get up. This is a good look for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> How did you get to where you are now, I guess? You know, it wasn't very long ago that I was in school studying broadcast journalism right here. You know, I came to Provo, Utah for school years ago, and I'm still here because we started into Aura Brush right about the same time I was graduating. Studied broadcast journalism, was thinking about going into news anchoring and reporting, but... Uh, this was right about the time the economic recession happened, first happened, and uh, that industry was not looking too healthy. It wasn't looking like a growth space for me, so I was looking elsewhere, really interested in entrepreneurship, had just been studying media voraciously for the past few years, and was working at a place called FamilyLink.com. They're the ones that made the We're Related application, if you remember that on Facebook. Right. It had tens of millions of users, and I was on their intern team and met a guy who had just taken on this project to sell tongue cleaners online on his nights and weekends. He'd met the inventor and had taken on this project thinking, well, he can't sell it in stores. When he gets it in stores, nobody notices it. We'll try to sell this online. This is Jeffrey Harmon, by the way. This is Jeff Harmon, our, our chief marketing officer at Orbrush, extremely talented, bright guy, uh, and a great creative strategist. Something that I've been impressed with with Jeff is his ability to look at a system to figure out its strengths and weaknesses and to create a strategy that plays to those strengths in that medium. So he had the idea of creating a video to sell this tongue cleaner. And we looked at what videos were successful on YouTube at the time. And there was a handful of very consistent um, traits that we saw. A lot of jump cutting, a lot of comedy, a lot of simple monologuing, mono, uh, vlogging, just a dude talking to the camera. So we got together, we recruited a friend who's a very talented screenwriter, a screenwriter, uh, a friend who's very talented, at the time he was a film student, now he's a professional filmmaker. Um, just got together some, some bright friends and created this video. And I thought that was gonna be it, I thought it was gonna be a fun weekend project. And then Jeffrey started marketing the video and it started getting better and better uh, and, and kind of testing all the different variables involved, testing the title, the tags, the thumbnail, even testing you know, durations on the video itself until we came to a place where we had a video that worked well enough that if we spent $40 advertising it, we knew we were going to get about 45 back in sales. It was, it was a, a cash flow positive advertising campaign. Uh, and so all the money from that, from those sales went back into promoting it and the whole thing snowballed. And it wasn't, it wasn't very much longer later, just a few months later that it looked like, okay, this is a, this is a real business opportunity. This isn't a nights and weekends project anymore. Uh, so we made another video and we started recruiting more people and we made another video and we recruited more people. We got investors and here we are four years later. Uh, it's a company that has done very well for itself, made a name with innovative YouTube marketing, won a number of awards. We've got about 25 employees. We've got distributors all over the world. We're in Walmart, CVS, Target. Um, and all of this was accomplished through pretty much through YouTube maybe some Facebook in there as well, but all through social media. We've never done mainstream television or radio or print advertising. Yeah. Part of my favorite thing I love telling people is like, your product is a freaking tongue scraper. Of all things, right? It's 
There's nothing sexy about it, mm. and it eliminates excuses. Like, yeah. Some I used to say, you know, video is not for everybody. But then, would I ever recommend video for a tongue scraper? Like, I probably would have ne never done it. But yeah. it's, if it, I feel like if it, if you guys can do that with a tongue scraper, anyone can do it. Blend Tech's doing it with a blender. Like, yeah. You know, you and I met at a conference where we were speaking. I've had a lot of people at those conferences approach me and say, hey, I'd love to chat with you about video marketing for my product or service. I don't really think it's going to work. I have this really boring, unsexy thing that we're talking about. And it's like, well, tongue cleaners. <laughs> um, which isn't to say that everybody can take the approach that Aura Brush did. We made these really zany, kind of irreverent, comedic, slapstick videos. You can't do that for every product. But what it does say is... You know, if you really think about this and you get creative, there's probably a solution for your unsexy, boring product or service that is really going to capture people's attention. Right. So I guess that kind of leads to my next question is, are you able to replicate or duplicate this, this model and apply it to other things? That's a good question. And it's one I've been asked a few times before. Um, I, I kind of want to say like, Short answer, yes, with a but. Long answer, no, with an if. Anyway, yes, it is repeatable. It's absolutely repeatable. Orbrush experienced a lot of growth because we got into the game at a, a really opportune time. But employing most of the same strategies today, you could do a lot of the same things and see, and see growth, uh, see sales. It might not be something that snowballs really fast, but all the staples, all the principal strategies of what we've done with Orbrush are all repeatable. A-B testing is still critical to what we do at Orbrush. Um, you know, crafting the right kind of video is still something we focus a lot of effort and energy into. The core of what we do at Orbrush has not changed at all, and sales have only increased in that time. Um, Every time we stray from those core competencies of what we do well and what drives our sales, every time we start to get distracted into maybe something else that looks maybe like, hey, we could try this totally different thing, it's, it usually doesn't work out very well for us. It stagnates our growth. And when we get back to our core basics of crafting the right videos, of testing the, every variable we can on those videos and optimizing the sales funnel, then, then sales continue to grow. Yeah, I know we kind of did the same thing with, at Zag with our scratch test. You know, any you know, big device that came out, we did our scratch test showing our product. And again, it's just, it's just a screen protector. But through YouTube advertising and testing a lot, we were able to kind of find that positive ROI, that sweet spot where we could justify everything. But uh, I never told you this, but so when we were asked to become YouTube marketing ambassadors, they only chose nine companies. I'm like, oh, like, or brush has got to be there. And so we, we get there. At, at the YouTube headquarters and you're not there I'm like WTF <laughs> and I asked that I'm like why isn't Orbrush here because like they're kind of a big deal and you, they're like you know what they're basically already YouTube marketing ambassadors like, we love those guys like we talk to them all the time and they're just so good at what they do and like they're good at promoting us too so yeah. YouTube loves loves you guys uh, I know that 